You know, a few things uh, <clears throat> Few things tell us it's late summer, early fall, much more so than kids going back to school. The NAU kids are coming back in. The sunflowers we saw today over on the east side. And also the roasting of the chili peppers here at the farmer's market on 4th Street here in Flagstaff. I'm here with Brian Yaskevich. Brian, how you doing? Good, how you doing? How long have you guys been doing this chili roasting thing here? You know, the chili roasting has been around for, you know, every bit of 15 to 20 years and since, you know, the first owners have been around. We've been doing it. I've been roasting for about five years, same with my dad. So we, you know, we're, I'm the oldest veteran at the market that's been roasting. I have my uncle that's helping, it, helping me now. But, you know, we've been doing it forever. And it's just, like you said, it's just a part of the season of Flagstaff now. Everybody just knows about it. Everybody just, they know, they come to me like, hey, when's, when's chili roasting coming around? <laughs> yeah, so, right? You know, it's just like Christmas. It's just like Easter. It's right. another holiday for Flagstaff here. It's a big cultural event. I oh, notice people line up sometimes. You have five and six people deep to try and get these peppers. It's, it's huge. It, my weekends are very, 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 very busy. You know, I get I get people to come all the way from Oregon. I get people to come from out of California. Even I get people to come out of Albuquerque, to Mexico, where they come from. I get people coming here. So. Just to buy these hats Just roasted. Just buy these ones, yes. Now, it's a funny thing, you know, because uh, I'm not from here originally, of course. Many of us aren't. And I we don't roast peppers where I'm from. Now, how 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 did we come to start roasting these peppers? You know what? I, I'd be honest with you. I, I don't know too much about how it started. Where, you know, obviously, I know it started in New Mexico, and I know it started in Gillis Farms, where we get these hatch chilies from. Right. Um, we've been doing business with them forever. As far as I can remember, is I remember my dad used to have a small, about a quarter the size of this one, a chili a roaster at home in Phoenix when we, when we grew up, and he used to do poblanos, jalapenos. So he's been doing it as long as I've known, but we didn't expect to come up here when we got this business and see one that was quadruple the size, and then figure out that we're going to be doing this every year in the parking lot. So yeah, right. it's quite interesting, you know, it, everybody loves them, and you know, we can't complain. You know, I got to tell you, you know, for some people, uh, a pickled pepper is a pickled pepper, and a pepper is a pepper, and a, a hamburger is a hamburger. But for many of the folks that come here, they swear by the farmer's market, and what they supply here is a very specific chili. It's a hatch chili. What can you tell us about the hatch chilies, Brian? The hatch chili is very, very unique because it's the, the key thing is a once a year thing. It only comes once a season. It's only a certain time grown. Usually when these are grown, the Anaheim peppers kind of kind of fade away for this tar part of the season because these jump in, and people rather have these compared. The flavors like outstanding the flavor is totally different flavor a lot more sweeter and of course when you get into those hotter ones you get mild medium hot and extra hot depending on what your flavor is you can get some that are excruciating you know heat wise <laughs> and you're just sweating and red but you know people love that be, why people come in here one extra hot and they'll come and buy five or six cases of extra hot you know that'll, that'll happen wow. every year well i gotta tell you brian a little secret i'm not i'm not totally an alien to understanding the what, how people feel about these roasted hatch chilies because uh, many many years ago when I was a younger man I lived in New York City and my roommate used to send for his roasted hatch chilies he was from New Mexico every year oh really that's right so you kind of been around you've known about it yeah yeah but you know I, I had no idea that I would actually ever actually find someone roasting them on the roadside <laughs> that's exactly that was exactly our take and when we took when we started doing this we're like wow we, we didn't expect to be doing this you know every season and of course I learned I learned when I first got in here and just fell in love with it and I've done it ever since. A lot of people know me as, you know, the roaster. A lot of people come to the market, hey, you're going to be here next year. So it's just a more, it's more of, you know, we, we do it to have, the customers love it. We do right. it for everybody in Flagstaff. We do it for everybody in, you know, that comes from out of state. They just, they just love the chilies and we know we love seeing them back and forth. We just love seeing them helping them and having them come back and see me. So it's great. Pretty much a Flagstaff tradition, if you exactly. ask me, right? Exactly. You know, we, it, it really is. Everybody knows about it. Everybody knows about time. I don't have to really say anything. They just start showing up. So We've got a couple customers up here, Brian. Maybe you want to take care of them. Let us watch it close hand. You can explain what you're doing on the way through. How are you guys doing? All right. He's got a case of these chilies. I think he's going to stick them in the, the hopper there. All we're doing, this is about a 25-pound case of medium chilies. They come out just raw like this, just a real, real bright green chili. All we do is just dump in here on top. Grab my gloves. We're gonna close this hatch right here. I'm gonna lock it right in place. And there'll be a pin right here we pull. And then we got, you know, this fancy electric motor here that all it does is just turn it for us. We don't have to do much of anything, really. I got probably one of the easiest jobs in flag stuff, I'll tell you what. We walk right over here, we light it with the propane right here. It's gonna get fairly loud. From there on, it just rotates the process for right around three to four minutes. And then after that, we dump them in the bag and we're good to go and ready to, ready to eat them. These are medium. What this is, it's a quarter of a case. A lot of people come in and get quarter cases from this to four of these, which four of these is a case. Right. 
So a lot of people just want one to start off to see how they taste and see where they're going before the first of the season, and then they'll come back and get more after that. It all varies on how much they like to use. Does, it, does the temperature sort of vary in terms of taste from year to year? Oh yes, def most definitely. We have you know a, a wide range of Hispanics that only want extra hot. You know, and sometimes these extra hots aren't quite hot enough for them. You know, but they still they enjoy them, and that's the thing. And I got people, I got tons of people that want mild. It all it all varies. You know, people jump up from year to year. They'll start off at mild, and they're like, hey, I'm gonna try the medium, and right. they know they get hotter as you go as you go. Right. Just like we did, my me and my family started off as a medium, and you know we're jumping up and farther and farther. You know, <laughs> we haven't gotten the extra hot yet, but we're sticking right around that medium and hot, so it's been awesome. But I'll have you know that these uh, these chili peppers, these these hatched chilies, are not uh, something that is exclusively the cuisine of the Hispanics in uh, Arizona or in the Southwest anymore. Many, many, many people come to Flagstaff and especially here to the farmers market to get their roasted peppers so right here on Fourth Street with Brian. Yes. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you very much, guys. It's appreciated. Great.